For disclosure purposes, a free key of Greywalkers was provided to me by the developers of the game. Thank you very much for providing that, and I hope you do enjoy the video. Hello, nerds, and welcome to Greywalkers Purgatory. This is a, an early access game at the moment, but it's very much in the vein of games like XCOM and Fallout. It's basically the basic premise is that heaven, hell, and earth have all merged into some weird sort of thing, and we're going to get fucked up in this post-apocalyptic world with supernatural stuff. So as you can obviously see, we have people who have super glowy eyes, and uh, I can't tell if those are fake or part of the headband, but for lack of anything better to do at the moment other than watch the pretty fire, uh, let's start up a new game. Manage a team of Grey Walkers and go through a set of instant action battles to let you get a feel for the combat and character system of the game. Currently under development, so not available, this is going to be the main campaign mode of the game. We'll do uh, one of the preludes, actually. It seems like the only character we have available is Sister Arisa's story. A nun of the Sisterhood of the Sword sits out on a mission that portents of things to come. So, one of the last surviving convents in Purgatory Island. That's a lovely name. I'd, I'd want to go there. Half human, half angel. Okay, so yeah, there are like half races who has dedicated her life into hunting down all the world's evils. Now, question is, who is the dad and who is the mom? All legends begin with a story. And this is one of Sister Ares, a Nephilim blessed with the ability of diviners, individuals who tap into divine sources to create min minor miracles. She was found as a child by the Sisterhood of the Sword and was raised in their spiritual and martial ways. Now she is of age and her training is almost complete. Time to do some shit. She has one last test to pass, or she can be even more religious. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Sister Aris? Amen. Sister Aris, Mother Superior is requesting you in her office. This is giving me, like, major fucking Sisters of Sigmar vibes. Like, Mordheim and Warhammer Universe Sisters of Sigmar. Mother Superior, like how half of these terms are very much alike. Did she say why she wanted me? She didn't say much, only that she requests you in her office. Head through the main hall, up ahead to Sister Rosemary's office. All right. So middle mouse, as you might expect, lets me swivel around and whatnot. I can hover over EP, energy, energy points, health. It's not called mana. <laughs> Just physics E door. Let's go. You see nothing. All right. Sorry, this is too fun not to do. The way she sort of slides back and forth is great too. Oh boy, how badly can I break this door? Yeah, the doors are just physics. That's great. A uh, view character sheet. So we can pop up a character sheet, it seems, at any time I want. Well, if, you, if you're if you one for the miniature details, go ahead and give this a wall up look. Pause the video and give that a read through. But I'm not going to bother reading through all of that. I think that'll take way too much time for everyone. Instead, we are going to... This is Sister Rosemary. We need to talk with her. You see before you a wise old woman, battle-worn but enduring to the end. You know her as Sister Rosemary, the current Mother Superior of the Sisterhood of the Sword. Hello, Sister Superior Rosemary. Ah, Sister Aris, welcome. Please come in. Now we have much to discuss. Yes, Mother Superior. You have spent a long time as a fledgling student in the Sisterhood. Now is the time for your final test. You have shown yourself to be skilled among the Sisterhood. Now let us test your capacity to lead. A village several miles south from here has requested aid to aid anyone to aid them in a perilous dilemma. Likewise, the Sisterhood has answered their plea for help. And this is where you come in. As your final test, I want you to lead a squad of sisters to the village and aid them in any way you can. Before you embark on your final test, do you have any questions? Where were you on the night of the 15th? Who will be assigned to the squad? Who am I working with? Two other sisters will be accompanying you on this task. Marielle and Sophia will be joining you. I've informed them they will be accompanying you as part of their final test. You will find them in the courtyard above. Before you embark on your final test, do you have any questions? It's the same question. Where is the village? Within a forest region to the south, leave before sunset. 
Uh, who shall I make contact with? Mayor Oswald leads the village. He is one of our contacts in the area. He can come off as a bit stern, but he's a kind man. Alliance with the Rolling Oaks Village will provide us with the resources necessary to expand our reach to protect wayward settlements farther out. If Oswald needs help, then it must be not be some menial task, which is why our response is crucial. Put my faith in you and your team to aid the villagers in any way possible. And I have no more questions. Okay, my child head to the armory down the hall on the right, so it's probably this thing. Uh, Sister Beatrice will provide you with the tools you need for this task. You will not get sidetracked by personal matters this time. Ooh, you got some history, girl! Of course, Mother Superior, I will keep the task at hand. Yeah, I won't dig around with any more door physics. Yeah, sure. That, that, I promise. Remember, Sister Ori, so you must protect the living. The dead have moved on. May the Lord bless you and your team's travels. That's some hint as to some past. Generic sword, Sister. Your Sister Beatrice. Let's just talk to you. There's no, like, confirmation of talking to someone. Hello, sister. I'm authorized to provide you with whatever weapons and items you need for your final test. I've prepared a collection of items I recommend you take out with you on your quest. Help yourself to them. They are, in this case, at my side. You will find all sorts of useful items in the boxes and containers here in the armory. You may take what you feel you need for this mission. But may I ask you something first? Thank you? What else would you like to know? How long have you worked here? I've been in charge of the armory for well over a year since the incident. I have been the sole caretaker of arms. There was an incident? What happened? Long story short, encountered a demon twice my size. Luckily, I got out with my life. The demon wasn't as lucky. Didn't escape without my fair share of wounds, that's for sure. Decided to take up a post at the armory instead. It was originally a temporary job while I was healing from my wounds. However, I found interest in the smell of fresh ammo. I figured I'd stick around, I'd, I'd stick around longer. Minor. 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 Minor typo. To be honest, it's much better than, uh, girl's civilization. Fuck's sake. Where else would you like to know, Sister Oris? How are you doing? How's your day? Weather nice? Me? Well, no one has asked me that in a while. Aw, nobody cares about Sister Beatrice? What a bunch of pricks! I'm doing much better since, well, the incident. Besides that, my time and effort has been spent tending to the armory. The armory looks amazing. You are truly dedicated. You really think so? Well, it's not much really, but making sure we're stocked up is just as important as the battles we find ourselves in. Preparation is half the battle. We are a long way from being a well-stocked militia, but I will make sure we get there. Can't have the Sword Sisters entering conflict unprepared. So the Sword Sisters are a very minor faction at this point in the story. But for now, let's go grab our shit. Healing oil. Good stuff. Uh, I feel like this line was supposed to swap back to Sister Beatrice. Don't sweat it and take care of yourself out there. Once you have, yeah, it's definitely I'm supposed to swap back to Sister Beatrice because she's giving me orders on where to go. Once you have the gear you need, head on upstairs to the courtyard. Sister Mariel and Sophia passed by here earlier. Quite the energetic one, that Mariel. Oh, and if you find some more interesting junk out there, be sure to pass it my way. One man's junk is another man's armory. Ha 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 ha! Except none of us are men. How dare you assume? But yeah, there's just some minor details here and there. Definitely the kind of stuff that you'd expect to get patched out in early access. But overall, it seems like the quality is still quite up there, comparatively. I just realized I have 44 out of 33 HP. Why do I have overheal? I have overheal and HP and less energy than max. TT pistol. So weapons have like minimum skill requirements. Um, three to twelve base damage, and then there's probably stuff elsewise that will adjust whatever. What's in this storage crate? Oh hell yeah! Give me a flak jacket. All right. Uh, I doesn't open inventory. I have a fucking Desert Eagle. That's great. Crouching has not been implemented yet. How do I open the inventory? Oh, Q and E are nicer for turning around. Q 
So different characters are bound to different F keys, but if I can just keep pressing F1, which is hers, it just slowly moves the camera. That's fun. Doesn't seem like there are any other boxes and stuff that can be opened in here, so move along. So I think you guys definitely need to make it so I can't see the glowing candles through walls, because that's just a little bit off-putting. What's in here? Can I get into this room? I'm gonna go here. Oh, I can't go into this room? Oh, we're just permanently walking in place. Okay. And I don't think I can talk to any of the generic sword sisters from the looks of it. No even just, I can't talk right now, I'm busy kind of dialogue. Just can't talk to them outright. Got these two. The game was telling me to go upstairs, so. Stair to above ground. Upper area of the sisterhood base? Yep, let's go. Where are... Okay, so we're in an old church. Ooh, this is a pretty big churchyard. This music is supremely unfitting for the current scenario where nothing fucking is going on. Okay. I don't mind the soundtrack at all. Because it sounds really fucking cool. But I would, I would say it's not very fitting. Alright, so it's these two. As you walk near, a young sister waves her arms and catches your attention. Enthusiasm gleams from her eyes. Sister Arise, over here! Hello, sister. Hello to you as well. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sister Mario. I will be joining you for our final test. Oh, hello, Sister Mario. Now, Mother Superior filled you in, right? Our final test. I am so ready for it. Mario, always the eager one. As the two of you chat, another sword sister approaches. A faint smile appears on her face as she pats Sister Mariel's shoulder. Oh, hello, Sister Sophia. I had forgotten you were joining us as well. Well, it's a good thing I am joining. Perhaps you'll be out of trouble this time. It was just one demon in a forest fight. I already really like Sister Mariel. She's my kind of girl. That's old history. Uh, all right, let's get down to business. Discuss our final test. Indeed, the sooner we get ready, the better. Yeah, okay then. Okay then, Sophia. Um, Sister Mariel and Sophia, we have endured our training to this very moment, and now we are at the brink of being full-fledged sword sisters. A village needs our aid, and together I know you can help. we can help these troubled people. We are to head out and meet the mayor of the village of Rolling Oaks. Alrighty, let's get a move on. Let's make Sword Sisters proud. No, no, Sister Mario, we can't go rushing into action. You know where this that landed us before. So that livened my spirit as well. Thank you, Sister Aris. Let us proceed with care, of course. Shall we join you now, Sister Aris? Yes, let's move out. Alright, let's get to the village. I can tell ghost stories while we travel. Sister Mario has joined your party. She specializes in ranged combat and use with rifles. Sister Sophia has joined. She specializes in close quarter combat and can parry excellently with her greatsword. Alright. So, Sister Mariel is two, Aris is one, Sophia is three. All right. Inventory, character, and journal. Let's open up the inventory and see what we got. So the main hand is an... A deagle. Okay, so you can open various characters' inventory quite separately. Beretta 92F and Sister Sophia, you can overlap everything. Yeah, they all just seem to have these. So in the meanwhile, uh, it seems like since uh, you, Sophia, are going to be utilizing melee combat, I'm going to give you the flak vest, the flak jacket. For better close quarters. I wonder if... So have they implemented these things actually looking like anything has changed at all? Nope. So, 
as of right now, it doesn't seem like armor physically represents on characters. I have no idea if they're actually planning to do that at any point in time, but... Alright, so drag, drag, select, bear, very straightforward kind of stuff that I'd want to see. Um, so, does everyone have the ammo they need? We don't have any 556 five, ammo. How are you going to use your fucking rifle if you don't have a 556 five, ammo? Will it ask me how much? Yes, it'll ask me how much I want to do. Share half of our ammo with Sister Sophia. Um, ammo? Where did you go? Have I just removed all of the ammo? Action units. How do we somehow have negative action points? I feel like that is unintended. So you know what? I guess we'll just move out. So I feel like some of the biggest things thus far that I have as issues with this game, which suffice to say isn't very much because it's looking solid already. Well, one thing immediately is her hand needs to be positioned properly for the assault rifle. Uh, and number two, uh, minor glitches like this and very minor dialogue issues, which can sort of be expected everywhere. Uh, and nothing else huge on my mind. So let's get out of here. Let's, let's proceed. We're off on adventure. I feel like I can take on 100 demons. Sister Mario, I'm sure you remember what enthusiasm led to. No good if you ask me. When will you let it go, Sophia? Perhaps she is teaching you prudence. That is something that will save your lives out there. Mother Superior. Oh, she came to see us. Now, my children, I wanted to see you off before you head out on your final test. I do hope you will follow Sister Orisa's lead. We will, Mother Superior. We will follow Sister Orisa's example. Good, my child. May I have a word alone with Sister Orisa? Sure, Sister Sophia. Did I ever tell you about that one time? <laughs> I feel bad for Sophia knowing that she's probably not all too eager to listen to Mariel from what it sounds like. Sister Orisa. What is it, Mother Superior? You have definitely grown since we first found you. I am surely proud of your progress towards becoming a sword sister. Like, uh... I'm curious if there's actually any difference between Yes, Mother Superior, and What is it, Mother Superior? I feel like minor ish minor differences that have no bearing on like the effects of conversation like if if it's just for roleplay tinting sure but in a practical way it really just makes it feel like decisions don't matter in that moment I'm surely proud of your progress towards becoming a sword sister However, Sister Oris, do take care, extra care in making sure you guide Sisters Mario and Sophia. I would not want them following in your exploits. What do you mean, Mother? Sister Oris, please. It has been four years now. There is no point in continuing a fruitless pursuit for justice for Petra. It's crazy, isn't it? How life works. One minute we were scavenging to survive, the next we were on our way to living this life of Sword Sisters. We can show them, Oris, you and me. We can save the world from demons. I may be blind, but that won't stop me. I will find a way. We will be great sword sisters someday. Sister Orise? Sister Orise, are you even listening to me? Oh, and another big thing. Uh, give us just some soft ambience for moments like this. We're not in combat yet. This totally breaks the mood. Like, entirely. If you take care, may you bring the Lord's blessing to the people you encounter. Godspeed, sword sisters. And off they went, traveling through purgatory to reach the village of Rolling Oaks. Though the trek was long and arduous, the sisters traveled onward, nearly reaching the village by sunset. Are we there yet? We're almost there, Mario. About a mile or two. Well, I do hope so, because my feet are... I hear a voice in the distance. Ah! Help! Someone is up ahead. There are enemies nearby. Sisters, prepare for battle. Okay, so... Can I choose? Ah, there's there's a active round order. So, okay, so it's going by more by that kind of system where everyone has their turns taken in a specific order, and I can't choose to say have somebody go first because I feel like they're better. It's only because of their movement speed. All right, so let's move you over here to what I assume is cover. 
So tab lets me swap between my targets, but it feels like... Okay, so I can also just press one and do that, but can I just keep tapping one? So I manually have to choose who it is. Cost four action points, one energy, one ammo. Make a single shot attack with your firearm. You, it would have cost all my action points to do that, so. Okay, so swapping items in my inventory doesn't remove my uh, stuff, remove my any action points. So I have to end your turn. We're going to move up to my melee person. Ooh, that's a big old miss. Okay, so full auto, medium burst. Seems like the best shot I can take right now is this. Fire a full auto weapon with a medium burst on you with a 69% chance. Nice. Ah, you don't have as many max action points. Seems like a lot of attacks at the moment just seem to want to miss. Spells. Alright, so you have a spell power. Smiting touch. 2d10 plus 3 holy damage. So there's like some dicey kind of stuff and stuff here with two action points left even just punching something requires too many action points all right i'm gonna assume he might have some sort of aoe do this Ooh, yeah boy your sword does a lot of damage you might want to get a better grip on it though all right so everyone's gotten 66 xp and we killed one umlebi Sort of curious as the origin of that name. Inspect the villager. Messenger bag. Few more info. Inside this bag, there is a village letter meant to be delivered. It reads, To a Mr. Regis L. Oswald, Mayor of the Rolling Oaks, my mission was of good success. I managed to send the message to the Sisterhood as you had requested. They claimed they would send a group to aid us. I do hope I get back before they arrive. So far, my trip has been uneventful. Hopefully, I won't run into any of the elusive beasts that have been abducting our people. Well, you, you jinxed yourself, bro. Jinx yourself, boy. Oh! Enemies just sort of naturally patrol about. That's interesting. Chainmail armor. Enemies patrol around in real time, it seems. So I sort of want to swap this back to somebody else then. If you are going to be wearing that, I'm going to give the flak armor say to you. I can not engage an additional one. Nobody's been hurt. Did we, did we seriously take the loose teeth off of this guy? Oh yeah, I forgot I accidentally like sort of unloaded your thing. Good stuff. Let's do an aimed burst and just stay put. Ooh, that's nice. Nice damage. Everyone getting some good XP, I'm going to assume at least. And as we approach, we can do this. Move and slash him. Good slash and damage. We'll just end your turn there. How bad is full auto? Does it seriously have such a little chance of actually hitting? All right, let's try and smite touch him. Good stuff. All right, so so far combat has seemed pretty straightforward. Uh, action pools for each person seems to be a little bit limited. Soldier, armsman, and diviner. Once again, the music is very unfitting for the current scenario. All right, what's going on in this camp here? It's an old wooden box over here. Uh, let's let's look at this. See if there's more info. Sister Sophia's tag getting covered over it. I don't even know if these do anything. Okay, I have some loose teeth as an accessory. Seems interesting. I don't know what we're currently after doing at the moment, but there's an active campfire here. Thus far, it seems like. There's nothing really else to look at, loot, or do. I guess we're just supposed to get to the exit here. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm gonna just do this. The option screen hasn't been implemented, so I can't I can't remove the music. Oh boy. This is gonna be itself. At last we arrived. I do hope that the villagers are hospitable. The village seems okay. I wonder if the creatures we face earlier are involved in their problem You! What is your business here? Speak of the devil, we're off to a good start. We are from the Sisterhood of the Sword. We requested an audience with the mayor. He, request, we, he requested our aid. 
Oh, you are? Then why didn't you say so first? Head to the village square. Our mayor has been waiting for your arrival. We did say so first. That's literally the first thing we spoke to you after you asked us anything. Oak village gate guard. Oak village guard. We go talk to the guard captain? I wonder. So we can send people off separately from the looks of it. A certain looking man clad in simple armor stands before a small group of men. The men before him appear to be timid at best. Okay, so that includes roll close. So that means five out of eight patrolmen are missing. I told the mayor that marching into the forest was a suicide mission. Introduce yourself. We're from the Sister of the Sword. We're here to help your village. Uh, you're the help the mayor talked about. Nice of you to drop by in the midst of a crisis. I must admit your being here is helpful. However, you might be too late to help us. What happened? Please do tell me what happened here. Well, recently we've been on the subject of abductions. Mostly our male villagers are the ones missing. Our wise and capable Mayor Oswald figured the best thing to do was to fortify our village. Every able man was made to do some sort of work in the village guard. It seemed to help at first, but the abductions didn't cease. Last night, we heard a lot of screaming coming from the forest. I dispatched a team to investigate. I'm actually going to take off my headphones. I'm sorry, but just having this, like, Obviously, combat-y kind of music going off the entire time is supremely distracting. I, I, I need a break. Unfortunately, barely half made it back. How can we help? Well, primarily, yours will now be the team to head out and rescue any abducted members of our village. I'd join you, but I'm needed more here in the village to organize the guard and help coordinate defense of the village. Lord knows the village would have fallen to ruin much sooner had it been left in the hands of the mayor. Um, do our best. Wish for your success in helping to rescue the villagers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to protecting what's left of our village. He's, he's very upbeat, I'd say. Where is our third? You're our third. Can I talk to other people? Natalia Sarder. Showing two green rings as if Robin appears grief-stricken. Her eyes red from recent tears. Who are you? You're not from the village. Have they taken your husbands as well? Inquire about her. We are the Sword Sisters. You seem troubled. What happened to you? Perhaps introductions are needed. I am Nayala Sarder. I am the village doctor. It's not what happened to me, but to my poor husband, Ned. Her, her expression seems supremely blank and dead. This is a little bit off-putting. Holy shit. I can't believe what happened. Did he die? Um, no. I think he didn't. I mean, he didn't, did he? He was one of the men on guard duty for the village. The other night, we heard a scream coming from the forest. He gave me a kiss and joined the others who went out search for the distressed person. Minutes later, a handful of our men came back wounded. Ned wasn't among them. I refuse to believe that my husband is dead. He can't be. None of the villagers are willing to go rescue my husband. Even the mayor doesn't wish to make it a priority. Please, will you find my husband? I just want Ned to come home. Sure, we'll, we'll try and find him. All right, may as well keep everyone together. There's not much point in separating everyone. Merchant, eh? As you approach, a man in a dusted cloak looks in your direction. He takes note of your weapons and armor. Greetings, strangers. Or should I say sisters? So what brings you ladies to such a dangerous area? We could assume the same of you, stranger. Who are you, if you don't mind us asking? Ah, yes, the world has made trust a rare commodity. Very well. Fortune brought me here. Now all I have to look forward to is misfortune. That and the fact that you are here talking to me. I was traveling and perhaps fate brought me here. <laughs> fate sure has a sense of humor. Unfortunately, I find myself in a most unusual predicament. Well, maybe we can help. Mighty kind of you, though I don't think you can help in this issue. I'm an honest merchant, but you can see here there be not much I can do to defend against big threats. <laughs> see, I was just moseying my way across purgatory with my caravan, stocked up with some goods to sell. When out of nowhere, I was attacked. Big creatures of wood they were, as if living trees. We fought with them. You did, eh? You should be aware of how dangerous they are. Yeah, they hit us maybe once, max. Now where was I? Ah, yes, I was traveling along the region, not too far from here. I had my caravan filled with goods to trade with the Selman a mile or so west from here. Roughly half a mile from here, I was ambushed by those giant wooded creatures. 
Two or three they were, they jostled my caravan until it hit the edge and fell off the ravine. Almost didn't make it out alive. Did you manage to recover your goods? Unfortunately, no. I lost everything and ran as fast as I could to get away from those monsters. And I kept running. All the way until I found this settlement. Mayor was nice enough to allow me to lodge here in the meantime. What are you gonna do now? Not much I can do at this point. I'll rest here for now and head back to Caravan City when I'm ready. Do me a favor, will ya? Be sure to take down some of them nasties for me, eh? Retribution for my lost goods. That's fair. I've talked to basically majority of the interesting looking named people. Village Widow. Village Widow. So yeah, a bunch of men getting abducted. That sort of tends to be the opposite of the usual scenario, so that's an interesting change of pace. But it doesn't seem like anybody else is interesting to talk to, so I'm going to assume we will go ahead and... Uh, Actually, hold up. I'm noticing that everyone's got these flashing markers and whatnot. Can I upgrade skills at all? Available skill points. Driver, pilot. Ooh. Seems like things are a little bit more interesting than I suspected they would be. Um, so, path skill. Persuasion. Start an allocation. Can't go above elect character's level okay so anything at three is maxed up basically um athletics perception infiltration costs two skill points so you can learn to drive specific things arcana this is primary security the arcanist this governs your ability to cast arcane spells all right we'll do that actually no let's cancel that out can i Look at everyone. Everyone has a little bit of this, it seems. Engineering, computer use, medicine, demolitions. You are Sister Mario, our soldier, so our gun girl. Your rifle is really good. Your assault rifle is really good, too. Um, medicine, demolitions, engineering. I think engineering might be very useful in this kind of a game. Um, so I am going to go with that. You are our melee friend. So scrounging, escape and evasion, and hunting, infiltration, um, perception. Everyone's level three, from the looks of it. Oh, you have, how do you have so many? Sister Sophia has a lot. All right, we'll apply that. So did you have more? No. You didn't. General ability points. Unlock abilities. Tier 1 abilities. Available. Bleeding shot, bow strike, bleeding, crescent kick. There are a lot of different things that you can learn. Seems like a lot of these have uh, placeholder just boxes for the moment. Different colored boxes with the things. Projectile headshot, quick shot. All right. Oh, all right. So path, general ability points. Oh, no, it's kick. Ah, so they're listing their requirements there. Do that. There are pole arms and stuff too. Exile. Bunch of things that haven't been implemented, per se. Shield expertise. Piercing arrow. We aren't really using an arrow. Kneecap shot. Path ability point. Ah, I see in the corner it's showing which whether it's general or otherwise. Bow strike. You don't have a bow. Adrenaline rush. Alright, that works. See, there is a lot of ability stuff that we can seem to do. So you have two path ability points. You are our melee friend, so let's get you probably parry. Sniper sending blow, tactical bullet bang, a ding, a ling, a ling, a ling, a ling, a ling, a ding, 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 a
Unarmed combat weapon training, weapon training pistols. Physical. Swordsmen. That would be great for you. Mental. Something that hasn't been implemented, but looks interesting. Gain plus three to damage with melee weapons. Okay. That sounds great to me. For somebody that I'm building, apparently, as melee lady. Melee lady. So I can not see anything super worth putting your abilities into right now. That's more skill points to put into something. Biography tab coming soon. We can see a decent amount of her stuff here. Ethnicity hardcore. What the fuck do you mean by that? Okay. That's itself. That exists. Damage resistance to the status effects. There's a lot of information that is available all at the same time. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to skip over that. People of Rolling Oaks, there's nothing to feel. We'll take care of this problem. Take care of this situation? My husband is missing. In fact, many of our villagers are missing. Our villagers need more than your affirmations. We need action. I assure you everything is under control. Please head back to your homes and don't head out of the settlement. Meyer's expression changes from negative to positive when he sees three armored and armed nuns before him. Thank God you have come. We didn't think anyone was coming to help us. I am Sister Aris. We are Sword Sisters sent to help your village. With me are Sisters Mario and Sophia. The Sword Sisters, what has happened? Cutting to the chase. Eh? I think we'll get along very well. Thank goodness. Sister Rosemary hated my request. I was beginning to fear no one would answer my plea. I believe introductions are in order. I am Oswald, mayor of the village of Rolling Oaks. I'll give you a tour of the place, but there isn't much time. I'd give you a tour of the place, but there isn't much time, I fear. We're mostly a peaceful village. We have a few enemies and allies, and we wanted to keep it that way. That changed, though. Recently, our villagers have went missing. An abduction? Possible, but we cannot say for sure. There was no noise or sign that a struggle took place. It's almost as if they just got up and left. There's no nearby camp or settlement to go to. There's only forest in each direction, and going out alone is suicide. Our people are proud, not crazy. Hmm, I see. I guess the best way to deal with this is to investigate. Maybe they were transported to another dimension. Oh, yeah? I don't think that would be likely. Hey, we live in a fractured world where demons and angels run amok, so anything is possible. Sister Mario has a point, though. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary of late? Glimmer of enthusiasm fills Sister Mario's face. Sister Mary all approves of what you said. Well, most of those who vanish are seen the night before they disappear. Recently, though, we heard screams coming from outside the village. I ordered the captain to send out a group to investigate. Barely half of what patrol of that patrol made it back. It's all been strange of late. Their disappearances, the screams heard in the forest. Even stranger is that most who went missing were males. As for look, which way did these disappearances start to take place? It has been happening for several nights now. Half of my people are missing. I don't know what to do. Didn't I ask where, not when, pal? Maybe within the villages. Many within the village are losing hope, including myself. However, you are here now, and that is good. I know it is much to ask you to risk your lives, but your sisters, you sisters, are our only hope. Please head out of the forest. If you find any survivors, help them return to the village. You can count on the sisterhood of the sword to be at your aid. You have my gratitude. You may stay in the village and prepare. I shall inform the guards to allow you to leave the forest at any time. Take care and may what we lost may what we lost be returned with your aid. Okay. Um Accidentally because I had multiple people click selected when I clicked on him. The other ones walked up and initiated a conversation as well from the looks of it. So there's that. All right. Let's head on out. Jagged Forest. You be safe out there. Been hearing strange disappearances lately. Do hope it ends with you aiding us and returning our abducted villagers. That journey was longer than I expected, sister. This must be the forest the mayor talked about. It's quite dark and ominous. The path ahead bends. Which path should we take, Sister Reese? Um, three rights make a left anyway. Let's start going right. Very well. We'll follow your lead. We may encounter enemies ahead. Be vigilant, sisters. Can you just decide to go to the left anyway? 
costs minus five ammo and takes minus five penalty due to recoil of hit. Solve damage as normal using the full auto rifle rule. Find it interesting. So what's making this worse? Penalty from medium burst. Bonus from weapon training assault rifle. I don't know why the aimed burst is not easier to hit than the other one. Alright, we don't have enough action points to do this. Let's heal you up, why not? Overwatch as a feature has not been implemented yet from the looks of it. And I can't seem to target him with you for some reason. Seems like things are glitching up a bit. Interesting. So a touch of healing seems to have glitched things out a little bit. Can't seem to do much of any movement whatsoever. Seems like they have a lot intended stances. Like overwatch and recovering action points. Crouching. Yeah, I actually can't do anything right now. Seems that we've hit a small soft lock from the looks of it. Like I can't do anything other than look at info. So. And we can't save. Alright. So at this point in the gameplay, I cut recording, but I wanted to give some final thoughts since this was a bit of a poor point to end off on. Here goes some of my opinions on the game. Would I recommend this game is probably the first question coming to your mind. Uh, I don't want to give like a straight up yes or no considering the state of the game right now, but I will say this. If you want to support the development of what seems to be a very promising strategy RPG, right for a very well-built, expansive universe, and you enjoy the uh, themes of post-apocalyptic world or heaven and hell, then I would recommend picking up this game. But keep in mind, it is in early access, and I wouldn't recommend this at all as a full title, as it's definitely not. There are quite obviously portions of the game that haven't been completed yet, that outright say they are not done yet to be developed, and there are some issues here and there with the code, as we experienced with the soft lock at the end. Now, on to more specifics. There are some portions of the game which I just found to be not exactly to my taste for what I would be looking for in this experience. For example, I find portions of the UI, more specifically stuff like the skills menu, to feel a little bit cluttered. The UI, while clean, I would honestly recommend changing up the font that you're using for some of these menus, either just in how you're presenting it or swapping to a different font altogether it just feels like it's leaning much more on the stylistic rather than the readability which in these kind of menus with this much information i definitely want like a clean simple readable font because if i i felt like i started squinting a little bit more than i wanted to and i also feel like this specific font would probably pose some issues for say anybody with dyslexia just as a thought off the top of my head while the soundtrack is pretty great so far, it sounds like it definitely has merits. I know for a fact that I want it to be cut back a lot more than it was. I would prefer simpler ambient tracks, things that just like sort of sound like the mood of the world, the wind blowing, the rustling of leaves, etc., etc. That would give it a feel of the post-apocalyptia, the sort of wasteland area. It would, it would not only make it feel like there's more of a sense of foreboding when I'm entering into these encounters, but it would also just add to that tension that you would expect in something like a post-apocalyptic world and make me feel like I need to slow down and consider the consequences of what I'm doing in these fights rather than feeling like I'm about to enter like a new stage in Doom. Right now, the game's combat seems a little on the easier side, but please take this part with a massive grain of salt, as I only ever fought the one opponent during my playtime. Uh, and on top of this, some of the skills just didn't make sense to me. For example, regular burst shots. They always seem to have a much higher chance of hitting than the aimed counterparts, which just didn't make sense to me at all. In addition, full auto seemed like it had way too low of a hit chance than it should have. I know it's not a ballistic system, like for example Phoenix Point, where each bullet is tracked individually for its chance to hit, but I would honestly expect a larger volley of bullets, just like more bullets to have a higher chance to hit than, say, a single shot round, which even though it wasn't as good as the burst, like the controlled burst fire, had a much higher chance to hit than the auto fire. It just seemed odd. I understand the idea of wanting to balance 
like aim percentage the chance to hit versus how much damage output you do but i feel like the drawback of auto fire should be more focused on the excessive expenditure of ammunition in a in a post-apocalyptic setting like this and that the chance to hit maybe not as good as like a well-aimed single shot where you like take a deep breath and like sniper it or a controlled burst shot may not be that good but it shouldn't be supremely less accurate than both of those things in my opinion so i think that's something that may need a bit of rebalancing but overall, I wanted to thank everyone for watching this video, and a special thanks to the team at Dreamlords Digital for providing the Steam key I used to review Greywalker's Purgatory today. Uh, links for the game and their Twitter account as well will be in the description below, and I hope you all take care. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching! Now you gotta do that thing with the thumbs up and the subscribe. Oh, and uh, ding that bell! Super hard! Share this with your friends too, and watch some other videos as well!